Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use our contribute widget when you select the file gallery option. There's another video already posted where you can see how the gallery works, the image gallery works. So this is just a file, okay? So this is what you get. Here you're going to upload files that are like zips or you can actually add images to txt files or pdfs and the thing is that here you get well, if I click on this, yeah, it opens. Sorry, I'm, we uploaded funny stuff. And let's check PDF. Yep, exactly. So this is what you can do. You can get this form where people can share their files here. Okay, so you got a pagination effect and you can actually customize how the form looks and how the browser looks too. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our demo and show you what we did here. Okay, so same thing as the the image gallery is you get text labels. Here you can edit, change the, the language or choose whatever name you prefer here or not, just leave it like this. And here in the form settings, first thing, the most important is add the contribute.php. Okay, so before going all over the options here, I'm going to open the contribute PHP. So here what you have to do is you have to change the username and the password. We also recommend to change the CSV name too. And also the PHP file should be changed too. Okay, these are this is for security reasons, so we strongly recommend you guys do this. And if you want to access your backend, you what you have to do is you have to type your domain. So it would be your domain.com slash assets slash contribute.php. If you change the PHP file name, you should place the name here. So when you access it, just imagine the it's called browser. The PHP is called browser.php. So to access your backend, you would go to your site.com slash assets slash browser.php. So remember guys, we strongly recommend you guys to change this for security reasons. Okay, so when you're done changing the details here, what you have to do is attach the PHP file here. So this gets the, the, the widget working, all right? So here you get um, the form settings, which is this part over here, where you can choose shadow, border, separate your bar color. I actually deleted it, so I set it to zero. Title size, title font, you can choose here among a whole bunch of them. The form background color, the good thing is that you'll, you can always play with the opacity so it actually will you know, will merge with the background color. And text color, button color, the hover effect too, and the loading spinner color. So whenever um, your visitors submit a file, then they'll see a spinner so they'll know that's what, what's happening, if they're waiting or it's done, it's been submitted. Okay. Then another option here is to moderate submits. You can click on yes and no. What does this mean? This means that any visitor who submits a file, they won't view it until you in the back end um, publish it. You can set yes or no and then you publish it. After that, then uh, all, every visitor can see the, the, the new submissions, but then you will be the moderator. And here you can place the, um, uh, to redirect them to a URL whenever it's done. It's completely optional. Okay, now file browser settings, it's this part over here is the icons. As I said before, you could see, you could see how if it's an image, it has a different icon than a zip file, than a txt file, or than um, a PDF. It's a completely different icon. But here you can style them, which is over here. You can change the pagination effect, we've got three, default, slide and climb. Also the files per page and files per row. So here in the biggest breakpoint I have 10 files per page, sorry, and five files per row here. But what I've done in the, the other breakpoints is, as Muse doesn't allow different widget settings and different breakpoints, so what you have to do is hide and 
hide the, the, the widgets and drag another one if you want it with different settings. So as for example, here I have 10 images in two rows, but here I have eight images in two rows and so on. I got three in two rows and here I got two and one row. So this is just to adjust it to the size of the browser, okay? So we recommend you guys to do this as we are not able to do anything else because Muse doesn't allow us. But that's a great solution. And don't worry about it because it is going to work. So um, here you get also, apart from setting the files per page, um, the title color, which is this one over here, and the description color. Sorry, I'm going to open this again. Okay. And pagination background color, which is this bar over here. And remember, you can always play with opacity. Odd background color. So right now I have all with the same color, but I'm going to change the odd background color to this green so you understand what this means. Okay, so odd backgrounds is green and uh, even backgrounds are white so this is if you want if you want it to be differentiated somehow and also um, title font size type description font size um, the box over here you can also play with the colors and the important part is if you want this to be uh, the, a file gallery then what you have to do is set here files and not pictures okay so these icons will show up if you set it to image to pictures it uh, a picture will appear so you have to set this one files also here you can change the file container border color um, the icon border color icon background color right now it's white but as you see you can change it to I'm just gonna change the color so you see you understand what I mean Yep, exactly. And this is just for the pictures. So in this gallery, which is a file gallery, you don't need to do anything with this. It's not going to work. Even though if you touch it and you increase the number, um, nothing is going to happen. This is just for the image galleries. All right. And here you're going to show, you can choose to show the title and show the description. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to access the back end. So this is our gallery, sorry, this is from the previous okay assets slash contribute dot php okay, so first of all I'm going to log out so you're going to see this once you write your domain slash asset slash contribute dot php so you just have to write your username and the password and login okay so here we have all the files that have been submitted so here what you can do is uh, whenever you received a new submission you can wait I'm going to actually submit a photo right now so you guys see what I mean so sorry Okay, I'm not going to write type any title or anything, so I'm going to bring this up and submit. See the spinners? That means it's done. So right now nothing is going to appear here, not a new photo. We should be here, the first one, and it's a zip and it's not a JPEG. And this means that if you refresh this, you will see the picture here. Okay, so what's going on now and what, why doesn't, doesn't it appear here? It's because it's moderated. So it's your option to click here on the pencil icon and here you can set it to yes. And you can actually edit the title. And you can save it. So go back here and refresh it so you'll see, hey guys, hello, hello, that's what I've just typed. It. So when I click here, you'll see the picture. All right. Or what you can do is you can decide if you want to trash it or not. So I'm going to trash it, set it to OK, I'm going to refresh it, and it's gone. OK, so as you see, the image gallery and the file gallery is pretty similar. It just changes when you choose the option. 
So if you're choosing the file browser, you're going to get the icons like this one over here. And if you're choosing the image gallery, you're going to get the images. All right. So if you have any doubt, please use our forum. You can comment on this video or send us an email. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video.